Howdy, welcome to my house. I'm Frumpy Buckle, and you're fishing with Uncle Buck. Today, we're going to talk about knots, fishing knots. So, we've been in the game, we've used certain baits, certain lures, certain things that we've caught our fish on, and we've learned how to set up our gear properly. The game, you know, the ultimate fishing simulator, fishing planet, does this wonderful. It, it taught us how to put the proper reels to the proper line to the proper rods and if you watch my first video then you have no problem now at this point because you know how to balance your gear you know how to go out and fish and you know how to put your bait on there and you just drag and drop it over there and you're good to go so now you've got pretty good at this fishing game you want to go out there and try it hey this is this is fun isn't it <laughs> as it should be let's let's go out there and do it for real so the only thing that this beautiful simulator cannot do is teach you how to put all this together. You can go to Walmart or Dick's or Cabela's and, and buy your gear. Cabela's, I, I like to shop there myself. Um, go buy all your gear, get it all set up right. You get your hooks, you get your, you get your lures. You, you get everything that the game has taught you that you need and you get out on the water and it's like well holy shit now how am I supposed to hook this all off well here we go it's called a knot and we're going to go through that real quick this is going to be a short video um, as you can see <clears throat> in the corner there what we've got here is and, and you know this guy over here because we've been fishing with him that's what got us farming at Lone Star that's what got us all of our, our, our spotted bass and pike uh, gra the grass pickerel over there, the pike family, um, and everything that the lure, I'm, the, lo the knot, I'm going to talk to you about, and it's my favorite. It's one of the most versatile. It's it, it's quick, and in the game, you have to you have certain poles, and you can and you can equip them with certain gear, and and they teach you how to set everything up right. But like your knowledge, you've got the right gear, but when you get in the water, like I said, what do you do next? And in fishing, in real life fishing, I mean, you can take a safety pin, a string, and a wooden stick, and you can feed yourself. I mean, if it comes down to that, that's what fishing is all about. I mean, it's fun to do, throw them back, let them go, but if you're hungry, it works. All right. I mean, and, and so they only allow you certain ways to set up. But in reality, you can take anything and tie anything up to anything. I mean, I, I had a buddy in my younger days. He invited me down for a fishing trip in Fort Walton Beach. And, and, and we went to Walmart and got chickens. And, and then we went to the tracker supply company and got some bull rope. And we hunted alligator all night long with no hooks. And had a pretty good night. Caught bluegill on bubblegum. Presentation. How you doing? So you got to know how to tie this stuff up. So let's take a look at what we got here. That we can, what we can do with this knot that I'm going to teach you, which is the most versatile knot out there, I think. It, it, it's fast. It's quick. I mean, if you're changing baits quickly, uh, if you're changing lures, um, you can tie anything up with it. Um, you can t you can tie a spoon up with it. You can you can tie a lure up with it. You can tie your sinkers with this knot. Um, you have inline um, where you can put this knot on both ends, and you've got your regular line, and then you've got a leader hanging off of there. You can do swivel snap hooks. Um, if you're doing drop shots, you get a you get a tri swivel. Um, here here's an example of the leader that we use. Um, this is the short one, but titanium leader with a, with a snap swivel on it and use the same knot and then of course you've got your hooks that we utilize you know your number eights and your number tens your different odd hooks and there's an offset hook so this knot can be used to tie up anything it's it's so basic and you don't have to have a lot of dexterity to tie it it's a very simple knot um i'm old and my, my fingers start to hurt anymore so um what i got here is i'm going to show you how to tie this knot real fast and I've got myself a, I tried to figure this out today, what was the best way to do this, and I tried multiple things, but you know, I guess this shoelace is kind of the best thing to do, and I got myself a, you know what that is, and 
paint can opener. It looks like a hook. It's got a hook. But it's got an eyelet on there. So I'm going to show you how to tie this this knot up. It's called a clinch knot. And I'm going to, there's two variations of this knot. One is called just a clinch knot, and then it's called an improved clinch. Just for now, the clinch knot just by itself, I would say I'd recommend that for you know any type of mono line, uh, fluoride mono. Uh, if you get into your braid, then you you definitely want to go to a an improved clinch uh, for your heavier. I mean your heavier grade line, and and later I'm going to do a whole series on knots and the applications for them throughout but right now what we're fishing for in fishing planet and if you were to go out now and try what you're learning in fishing planet this is what you need um so this knot is it's quick and easy you can tie up all your gear with this knot so let me try to give you a little bit of a little better shot there now this is our eyelet what you would want to do is whether it's a hook a lure a sinker thread your line through it pull it up the dexterity that you need is only at the end you just want to pinch that because all you have to do really is stick this thing through the loop that you're going to create so if you can thread a needle you can you can tie this up so once you've got it through the eye of whatever you're attaching it to you just spin it and depending on the size of the line, the weight, now this shoelace is a little thick, so I'm going to have to do a few to get you to see the real thought. But now, four or five times with like two pound to eight pound to ten pound line is perfectly fine. You start getting into your 12 pound and 23 pound and stuff like that braided, then you're going to have to use the improved. But basically, you're just going to twist it four or five times. And you, you, you'll create a, a loop at the end right next to the eyelet. And you just, all you got to do is stick the end of the line through there and grab a hold of it. And I'll work this down, but with a fishing line, you don't have to work it so much because it'll slide right down in place for you. This is a little thicker with a shoelace. But we're just going to slide it down against the eye. And it, and it creates a clinch knot this will hold big guys and of course you would at that point trim off close to the knot and again depending on if you're using if you're using larger gear now this line you know you get a big fish on large gear and you snatch onto him this will stretch a little bit so make sure you don't cut it too short so if it does stretch a little bit it'll, basically it'll tighten when that fish hits it and that is a clinch now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing like i said if you've got heavier line you want to do an improved clinch so what you would do there is basically the same thing you pull it get yourself a pinch where you know you're going to put it through you spin it about four or five times and now you come up through the eyelet now instead of just pulling it at this point where you've got your where you've got your finger tucked in there you bring that back down through back down through one more time to that loop now that's another just it's just a little more secureness and you slide her down and that is the improved clinch and you're good to go so now, while you're watching this video, if you, if you found any value in what we did here today, please hit the like button. Check out the subscribe button. I'm going to be doing a whole lot more on, as we progress through the game, I'm going to be doing a lot more of the knots that's required if you're out there fishing, putting this to real life. Um, you know, I, I messed up on my hooks. So... I appreciate that. Oh, and before we go, let's just try it real quick. I just happened to. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but we're going to give her a whirl. I hope, it, I hope it turns out okay for you. But 
I've got my I got my eight pound test here. I've got my little frog. We're gonna go through the eyelet. Pull it up like I said. Give him a few spins. See our little hook there, our little loop. We go right through the loop. We can grab this guy with the other two fingers, hold on to him, pull that down tough. And snip off the excess. You're good to go. Now, if you're going to fish, if you have multiple poles, this is the way you want to go. Natural line to the lure. Um, a lot of times, if I'm only taking one or two poles out on an outing for me and I'm just going to yank real fast, then I will go ahead and I'll tie a swivel on, swivel, snap swivel onto my line and this way all I have to do is unsnap her real quick throw another lure on it snap it up get it back in the water so if you liked what you saw here today go ahead give me a like down there hey subscribe I'll be putting out some of these or we're going to go through a lot of good knots that I like. This one here will get you almost through any type of fish you want to do. It's mainly used for spinning and casting. But, I mean, you can, you can rig up anything with this. It's a quick and fast knot. And I hope it helps you out. And if it does, give a thumbs up to me, all right? And we'll be doing a lot more. And you've been fishing with Uncle Buck. And we'll see you next time.